part of inspiration. July of 2019 general reading. This is for sun, moon, and rising. So, and it is a general reading, okay? So if this doesn't resonate with your sun, please feel free to look at your moon or your rising sign. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you consider liking and subscribing and hitting that bell notification. Um, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you so very much. I really do appreciate um, you coming back. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys. So um, we got some good stuff going on. I know July is almost half over. So part of this is going to be what's happened to you in the recent past. But a lot of this is going to be really um, what you really need to know for the upcoming future. So overall energy that I have, I've got the star seed card. Now this is the star child tarot deck that we're using. The star seed card for overall energy tells me to remind you that you have everything within you that you need in order to succeed. You have everything within you that you need in order to manifest. You have everything you need within you to make things, to make your life the way it is that you need for it to be. You've already been given that power. You've already been given that, that ability. You've been given that know-how. So you just got to tap into yourself and really believe in yourself, especially during this upcoming time. I know that I'm putting this out fairly close to the lunar eclipse and the full moon. Um, full moon energy is really good for releasing letting go it's also good for closing other chapters it's also really good for saying you know what i'm finally going to go after that which i know i'm supposed to i'm finally going to go after that life that lifestyle um that job that career that that business whatever it is that i know i'm supposed to do um i'm going to go after my life purpose and when we get to that point where we're finally like, hey, you know what, I can really do this it is a wonderful um, experience. And we release the old thoughts and old um, ideas and what other people have said about us. We release that and just don't like buy into it or believe it anymore. And that's really shown by this oppression card also, which is the devil card in this deck. Um, that says to me that it's time to release yourself. Oh, and also with the eight of swords, you're trapped in your own mind. Okay. You're trapped in your own mind Aries. So, um, release yourself from it. You know, a lot of that not having faith or not feeling like you're good enough or all that great, you know, all that not so great stuff, but all that kind of stuff. All right, let's get into the reading coming towards you this month. This is a really good month for you. We have the wheel of fortune. Okay. Um, Aries, it's probably because you've got you know, Mars that is moving into, um, right now, I think as we speak, it's already in Leo. So, um, and it would be conjunct with Venus. So that's love and money. So you're going to see awesome things. And, you know, during Cancerian season, very nurturing, very mothering, um, lots of great things can happen during this time period with the Knight of Pentacles, though, please remember, don't run, walk, <laughs> don't get reckless. OK, um, and you're actually probably looking and thinking about things a little bit more like closely than you normally would. And with the Justice card um, could be a Libra involved. It also could be just that you're coming into balance. You're realizing that you have to put a lot of energy in in order in a lot of effort into something in order to get something out. You can't always expect everyone to give to you. Right. So you're really know, knowing now, hey, look, this is the energy I'm putting into it. So this is why I get it back. If I don't put a lot of work into this business that I wish to start, I'm, it's not going to be successful. Right. Because I'm not putting anything into the business makes sense so we have to recognize that um it is very worthwhile um to make everything equitable okay um what goes around comes around um every action is met with an equal and opposite reaction law of physics so if we employ that with this justice card okay if we employ that concept with the justice card um, we can really become to understand that, um, you put the effort, you make two steps forward. The other person's going to make two steps forward to you. So somebody needed to hear that. However, if you're making two steps forward to somebody that doesn't really want to work with you or doesn't want to really be with you, 
Um, I don't care how many steps you take forward because the way you're taking it forward is you're trying to force them to do something that they don't, it's against their free will. We can't expect to be able to alter another person's free will. Um, and even if we did alter their free will, the consequences might not be what we really want. I just have to put that out there. Um, okay. You are though bringing to the table, the eight of crystals. That last day, it wasn't for all Aries. So if the shoe don't fit, don't try to put it on boo-boo. Okay. Um, not meant to offend. Just some people needed to hear that. So you're putting this hard work in really, you're willing to work for what you've got. You can see that your ship is coming in. You're feeling really good about where you're at and where you're headed. Um, you know that you're going to begin to get some harvest, begin to get some sense of completion, but that there's more work ahead. Yep. And you've got eight of wands and you're really wanting to move forward. I love that. That that's the energy you're bringing to the table. Rooted in pentacle energy, but still that fiery, let's go for it. Let's do this. Okay. What could be an obstacle or something you have to overcome is the queen of cups energy. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Could specifically be a Scorpio being the queen, a Cancer being the queen of cups, or it could be a maternal figure, something like that. Somebody with cancer in their chart, lots of cancers in, the, in their chart. And this queen of, king of pentacles also energy or ace of pentacles energy. All right. So this is what I'm hearing then. That obstacle that you have to overcome, it could be some female figure, could be a maternal figure, whatever. But it's just this like doubting yourself. The queen of cups is she's, she's really good to herself, right? She loves herself. She loves her children. She loves her family. Um, she's just very giving and compassionate. Sometimes we're not compassionate enough with ourselves. And if you are still holding on to old beliefs, right, that you can't accomplish what it is that you know is your life purpose or what's your true desire, then what happens is that you end up um, pushing away or halting this Ace of Pentacles manifestation, this Ace of Pentacles new start, new job, new money, new abundance you know you just you push all of that away because you don't have enough faith and compassion in yourself we have to be at a point where we're you know like healed or healing or at least understanding enough that we're not just so stinking hard on ourselves that we don't give ourselves a break we don't forgive ourselves and we still hold on to old beliefs or old statements that people made about us and those things that they spoke over us and put on us they didn't necessarily mean it in a way of trying to really do you in. Okay, don't don't get that. You know, people will, because they may not understand your vision or maybe they were never able to be a doctor or maybe they were never able to become a lawyer or maybe they were not even able to go to college or they wanted, might, wanted to work for themselves, but they just didn't know how. And I'm talking about our parents or our loved ones you know, just because they couldn't do something, they tend, they, they'll be like, oh, you can't, you know, because they don't want you to get your hopes up. But that very thing keeps us from being able to do all of those. It, it does not empower us. It disempowers us. So overcoming that very deep seated kind of mistrust of ourselves is going to be very important so that we don't block the harvest. We don't block the manifestation that we've been working so hard towards all this time. And what, again, what's going to help you overcome it is the magician. So that energy of, I can make this work. I can put fire, air, and water together and manifest it out of the earth. I can manipulate the energies around me, right? Um, Four of Pentacles, do not overspend. And I'm also going to say that you need to be a little closed off because sometimes you can't tell everybody your dream, otherwise they ran on your parade. You just can't share it with everybody. But believe in yourself in an amazing way with the Nine of Pentacles. Again, back to that star seed, right? Overall energy, that star seed overall energy says, believe in yourself don't give up. Believe in yourself. Know that you have it within you to do this, to start this business, to make, to have this life, whatever this life is. For a lot of you, I feel like it's got a lot to do with money or it's got a lot to do with like um, a level of spirituality or whatever. Entrepreneurship, having a spiritual practice, what have you that, you know, other people don't believe in. 
that's okay. This is your life purpose, not theirs. And that's the one thing that you really have to um, keep in mind. It is your life purpose, not theirs. So live your life purpose, what you came here to do. Okay. And finally, with um, outcome or advice, I have the ace of swords. With that ace of swords, this is saying boldly go where no man has gone before or woman has gone before, right? Fight for it with the five of wands. People are going to bicker with you about it. They're going to be like, what are you doing? You're crazy. You're, you could be like, yeah, you're right. I am completely crazy. You are definitely going to feel left out in the cold with that five of pentacles because this is a lonely journey. Okay, this is a journey you make on your own. But follow your instincts and follow that inner with the high priestess, that inner wisdom and that inner knowledge that's just driving you to continue forward. And then I have the seven of wands. Have the courage to continue on. The hanged man, don't be afraid to make the sacrifices necessary for it to come to pass. And here you are, the emperor own it believe it do it right be the emperor rule your kingdom and your queendom right be in that divine masculine that ultimate divine masculine energy and it will indeed work out hey guys right here at the end of this video in just a couple seconds you're going to see um, a spot for tarot classes tarot classes start on july the 20th so please feel free to register for that at heartofinspiration.net um and uh, also, please consider liking or subscribing if you want a personal reading from me at heartofinspiration.net. You can also find ways to work with me under spiritual services. Um, you know, that's about it, guys. I really appreciate you hanging with me. Again, thank you so much. I hope that you found this helpful, and I will talk to you soon. Hit that bell notification and subscribe. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Namaste. Bye-bye. Tarot classes start July the 20th. Learn to read tarot for only $297. Register at www.heartofinspiration.net now.